You're still with us then? That's not going to help anything, is it? It takes the edge off being sober, though. I've put up with a lot from you, but I'm not going to stand by and watch you play the martyr. You don't get to feel sorry for yourself, not the way you've been carrying on. Well, I've been a pub. Yeah, my pub and my rules. Now get upstairs, have a shower and a shave. <sighs> and for God's sake, brush your teeth. I'll go up and see Joe. It might still be possible to sort things out. That's the last of them, then. Poor things. You haven't got a clue what's going on. It's <laughs> probably a good thing. You OK? Yeah, I will be when I get this sorted. Let's get on with it, then. Right. Just give me a call if there's any problems, yeah? See ya. Against doing a secret Santa, cos I think it's a lovely idea, eh? Bit of summit in your stocking, eh? <laughs> Where's the arm? <laughs> it's another step in the puerile commercialisation of Christmas. Well, you didn't say that to Alan. Well, I didn't want to burst his bubble. I mean, he was so taken with the idea. Now, there's an understatement. You'd think he was planning the Battle of the Bismarck instead of organising a glorified raffle. Hiya. A couple of cream buns to take away, please, Brenda. How long have you been here? It's stone cold. I didn't know whether to, to call you. What's that to say? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's not your fault. Right, well, I'll, I'll leave you to it then, but you know where I am if you want to talk. I'll, I'll leave these here for you, OK, love? You can pay me on the way out. Yeah, sorry, I'm coming. You too busy to go for a pint later? I suppose I could swing it with the boss. Yeah, it's just a bit of an ear infection. She'll be right as rain in a few days. Oh, I'm just sorry that she can't come to the party. Oh, I know it's typical, isn't it? Look, I'm gonna have to go, but um, tell Lizzie we'll make it up to her. All right, ta. Yeah. I wondered if you might have time for a coffee. Oh, not really. You know how it is. He knows he's done wrong. Diane, I could have had him locked up. He did a stupid, desperate thing. Yeah, but it wasn't just out of the blue. He's been plotting and scheming this for weeks. He's terrified he might lose Sarah. You won't keep her away from him, will you? Well, I'd be doing her a favour if I did. He needs her. And she definitely needs him. He doesn't deserve to be her dad. But he is. And nothing in this whole world's going to change that. Look, I know, I know I can't stop him seeing Sarah. Why don't you tell him that I'll bring her over on Christmas Day to see him if he likes? That'd mean a lot to him. On one condition, though. He doesn't come anywhere up here. No excuses, Diane. And not even to give her any presents he can see her on Christmas Day. It seems reasonable enough. OK. Diane, I meant what I said. If he comes anywhere near here, I will call the police. I'm not putting up with it. No more. I did knock. What? I did knock. Mm. Hang on. I'm supposed to be meeting Ashley here. Mm, I wasn't expecting him back for ages. Clearly. Sorry, I'm making you uncomfortable. <sighs> Let me go and wash this off and put some clothes on. Are you staying here? Yeah, I'm the new lodger. At least until you lot sell the house from under him. It's not so long ago that you were working towards just such an outcome. Tell you what. Yeah, put the kettle on. Mugs are on the side. Just make yourself at home. I wouldn't be the only one. Oh, 
was just coming to see you. I've got an airport one. Shouldn't take too long though. Oh, right, well, I'll come with you if you like. Oh, I'm picking up a family. We can have loads of luggage, there won't be anything room. Oh. Well, it's a bit sad anyway, isn't it? Me tagging along for the journey. Are you okay? Shane, he's supposed to be back today, isn't he? Well, it's not like his army of friends are going to be ringing around the hospitals, is it? Just how the most popular. Yeah, but they're still going to expect him at work, though. Yeah, they will. But there's nothing we can do about that. All we can do is sit tight. Wait for the fun to really begin. I better go. So, uh, call me as soon as you hear this, or better still, get back here pronto. This man is not great company. Hallelujah. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank goodness you were here. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. We got caught in traffic. I'm afraid I'm running late, so I'll uh, keep this short. St Mary's will close on the 26th. Boxing Day? Of course you can conduct the uh, Christmas Day service, but I'm afraid that'll be your last in Emmerdale. You never told me that. Forty minutes I've sat here listening to him prattling on. Nicola. Well, you'd be amazed how different the weather is in Skipdale. It's only 15 miles away. It, it seems rather fitting, actually. It's uh, nice to go out and hike. You're not seriously going to accept that. Five days' notice. Nicola, we knew it was coming. Unbelievable. So I'd like to thank you both personally for your exceptional efforts over the years, and uh, may you go from strength to strength in your new parish. I'm going to send flowers. I presume you want your name on the card. Oh, thanks, Ted. Pop Eric's on as well. Save me a little job. Ah! Secret Santa! Aha! Take your pick. Just do it. Make an old man happy. Alan Turner, not me. Signed Paul, up for deputies' duties. Can't go into details, all very hush hush. This is so lame. Well, if you get Eric's, I'll swap you. You can't tell. It'll undermine the spirit of the thing. Oh, no, don't tell me you got Jimmy King. Lucky you. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't you think you've had enough? Tell me what to do. Right, that's it. I don't care what damage you do to yourself, but that costs me money. It was an accident. Jimmy, get yourself home. There's children here. Why well, she not looking at me? <clears throat> what do I care? The place is a dump anyway. <laughs> Carnations and gypsophilia it is, then. I've spoken to Jo. And? She said she'll bring Sarah over on Christmas Day to get her presents. I didn't push her for time or anything. I thought we'd play it by ear. So don't go playing silly beggars and go up there, OK? Let her come to you. Thanks, Diane. I'm really grateful. So you should be after yesterday. Ah, up yesterday. Victoria! Andy's been deliberately breaking stuff at the farm, just so he can spend more time up there fixing things and making himself out to be a hero. And he's up to summer. I just wanted to see Sarah. I'm trying to get your own way more like. Well, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, thanks. I'll uh, have a couple of my lads come round later and pick them up. Oh, great. Thank you. OK, bye. bye. See ya. No, I'm not kidding. I've just got a great deal. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm on my way back now. OK. Do you want to get home? What's he doing sniffing round here? He's not normally sober by this time. Well, I have no idea. I'm just a hired help. Since when? Well, I told you I'd give her a hand clean out the sheds. What, out of the goodness of your heart? Well, I had a few hours to kill. You might be better off killing them with somebody who's not married to the local head case. I thought it was supposed to be his day off. Well, he's a workaholic, isn't he? He always has been. Well, you'll have to try and get rid of him. And how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but you'll have to try. He's going to ruin everything. Look, if Andy finds out that I'm going to get away, then he'll never let me see Sarah again. <sighs> Promise you won't leave without telling me. Send you a postcard. Do you mind if I join you? Private conversation, sorry. Only I wanted to give you this. It's my new address. So, um, any correspondence about my redundancy package should be sent here. You cheeky cow! 
They've not even buried him yet and already you're chiselling away. But, uh, I don't want to intrude, so... Just so you know where to find me. Oh, I can feel my fist itching to hit her all the time she's in the room. She can't have what we haven't got. So have you... have you made any arrangements yet? Have you got a date? We told Anna we'd hold off till she got back. Can you do that? Apparently so. Oh. Well, if you want any help, you know where to find me, don't you? Hi. Hi. Do you need drinks? Mm, no, fine, thanks. Yeah. I'll just sort myself out then, eh? Oh, it's never right. It's outrageous. Well, we knew they were never going to change their minds. Hopefully we'll have a good turnout. Couldn't have picked a better day in terms of bums on seats. <sighs> Seems like a fitting way to say goodbye. Yeah, but we'll still come back for visits. Oh, you say that now. We've got a lot of ties here. They might have given up, but I certainly haven't. Nicola. But never mind, Nicola. All that turning the other cheek is for suckers. It's never a two-man job, that, is it? Well, that means we'll be finishing half a time and uh, then you can give me a lift home. You lazy beggar. I always know he's up to something when he's helpful. <laughs> well, you would be doing me a massive favour. Oh, come on, then, if it keeps you out of trouble. And he still treats me like I'm four. And I'll go on doing so until you show signs of growing up. Hey, Nan. Um, no, I'm just sorting through a few Sarah's stuff. She's going out of it, so I'm going to give it to charity. I think you owe an apology. What for? Victoria told me what Annie's been up to. But I knew something weren't right, I should have said. Yeah, well, I always knew he thought I was stupid and it just proved it. He's off his head. Yeah, and that's what I'm afraid of. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's done, isn't it? And he can do what he likes. Not to do with me anymore. Well, I think he knows he's blown it. Does he? Well, who knows what goes on in that head of his. You know, Daz, I thought I knew him, but I had no idea. Thought you were working today. Early start. I do. I was lucky to get out of there. How come? Half the team's down with the lurgy. The rotor's shot to bits. Mm. Oh, don't answer your phone. They'll be dragging you in for extra hours. And? To top it all off. Shane Doyle's done a no-show. Drake's having a fit. Can't get hold of him for love, no money. When was he due back off holiday? Don't know, but his shift started at nine this morning and dearest Shane, he old failed to show up. Do you think he's going to get the sack? I think he might have got away with it if he'd rung in, but going totally incommunicado? <laughs> better have a good excuse. That's all I can say. I was having to think about doing a clear up, you know, make a bit of space. Where's all the gear? Who's got the tractor? Make, will you just mind your own business and keep out? Joe, what is going on? I think I'm really sorry. Hey! Joe! Look, I've never meant for this to happen, all right? You, you weren't supposed to be here. Open the door right now and stop playing silly beggars. I want to know what's going on. Right then, I best get off. Paddy might come over all meek and mild, but trust me, ooh, he can't half sulk. He's like a teenage girl when he gets one on him. I'll give you a bell. Yeah, see ya. I can't be too long either. Just popped in to check you're all right. 
Try and get off early tonight, if you like. I'm hardly in the mood. No, I never meant that. <sighs> I need a bit of space. That's why you're cuddling up to Chaz, is it? Don't you think I've got more important things to think of? I don't know. I don't know what you think. You never tell me. My brother's just died and we're financially ruined. What do you think I'm thinking of? The last thing I need is you coming over all needy. I just can't cope with it, Lexi. Your timing couldn't be any worse. Come on, Joe. Open the door. We'll talk. It can't be that bad. I can't trust you. You'll tell Diana or Randy. Tell them what? I don't know what's going on. All I know is you're having a hard time, but I'm on your side. Whatever it is, we can work it out. No, it's too late for that. You've no idea. Look, let's just get inside out the cold, eh? You're leaving, aren't you? I've got no choice. There are always choices. Are things really that bad? You don't know the half of it. Oh, hot chocolate, please. Oh, frozen, love. What have you been up to? Nothing. Look, I, I just want a drink. All right, go and sit down now. I'll bring it over. Have you been all afternoon? You left your phone at home. I went to the lake. What? Are you mad? Did anyone see you? No, I don't think so. Why did you go and do something stupid like that for? I don't, I don't know. I just wanted to... I just wanted to... There you go. I love a fright, but can I get you? Oh, nothing, thanks. Oh, I was just coming to yours. Oh, yeah? Yeah, have you heard from Shane? Uh, no, no, he's on holiday, isn't he? Well, he's supposed to be back today and he hasn't shown up at work. Oh, he's probably just missed his flight. Yeah, either that or he'll be off his head somewhere. Well, he hasn't contacted the station, so I'll just up in arms. Has he wronged you since he's been away? No, no. Well, he sent you that text, though, didn't he? Oh, yeah, 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 he did. Saying what? Oh, do you give Marlon the third degree like this if he's late for his tea? He's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Oh, well, you, you know, he didn't say much, just said food was dodgy, weather was hot, beer was cheap. I haven't heard from him since, have you? Obviously, I've been far too good a time to worry about home. Well, could you let me know if you do hear from me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Only, he might not have a job if he doesn't show up soon. You can't leave me here, Joe. I'll freeze. I'll call someone to come and let you out. Joe, think about what you're doing. I know how much you love that child, and she loves the bones of you. But you can't take her, not like this. I'm a better parent to her than Andy. Or Debbie will ever be. That's as may be, but think what are you going to tell her when she asks where her daddy is? The same as I tell her now. Think about it, Joe. How are you going to live? You'll be on the run. <laughs> we'll manage. I love her. I know that. But it doesn't make running away with her right. She'll end up hating you. Please, just, just stop telling me what to do. I can't think straight. You know this is wrong, Joe. You can stop it right now. Nobody need know. Did you see the way she looked at us? We're being paranoid. Well, she can't be suspicious already. Can she? Look, would you just wait until we get inside? Yeah, but why would she even care? I thought she hated his guts. No, I was hoping that was one of the things that we had going for us. Everyone hated him, didn't they? Oi! Hates him, right? Present tense. Here we go. Your comfy. Mine fingers. Right, I've got everything. Don't do this, Joe! Don't leave me in here! Right, we're going on a little adventure. You like adventures, don't you? 
brave little bunny, aren't you? Right, let's get going then, eh? Can Stevie really be throwing away her career for a criminal? Well, the evidence isn't looking good in the bill at nine. Next tonight, though, is the pressure of fatherhood finally going to crack Peter in Coronation Street.